Now, my channel when I started it a few years ago was about trying to understand the truth, trying to dig deep and try and figure out what this was all about. This Why were guys going over to Ukraine to date Eastern European women, you know, or Russia, you know, for another example of another country. And I've been trying to track down for some time some old school mail order bride catalogs and I couldn't do it. I found one guy once, but he didn't send them to me. And recently, new friend of ours, member of, uh, well, a new friend of Heart Rocket, we'll say that, uh, sent me an old school mail order ca uh, bride catalog from 19, what is it, 1995, I think, 1996. And I, I, for me, it was just incredible because this is before your time as well. But this is where it started. I was five. I didn't even think where you I were, would end were. up. <laughs> yeah. So... We thought, I started reading the, uh, the, the, um, this gentleman's email and had a look at some of the photos and I thought, no, hang on a second, I've got to share this with you guys and I need to share this with Luba as well. because Luba let me open it. Luba, yeah, Luba hasn't seen this email as well. So but, we I get, was, but I was always wondering because like I've been working for so long and I heard about that, but when I started working, it was, my, it was 2008, 2009. And they had the internet, right? There was uh, no catalogs. Yeah, it was Internet Cafe. Oh, internet yeah. cafe. Oh, but, you went from the catalogs, yeah. internet cafe, yeah. to um, iPhone five. To iPhone five, yeah. So, this is how it all started, my friends. Let's have a look, eh? Let's. I'm going to read you guys this email, then we're going to show you the photos of what the ladies look like. Oh, I faster. I want to see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this is what um, uh, this gentleman has sent to me. Attached to some information. I want to read this because he shares a little bit of his experience. Because he was, he was, he was dating. In, in 1995 using these catalogs, right? So, okay, so attached to some information that I kept from 1995, here you can see the Skana booklet from the summer of 1995. Skana, remember that name. Uh, and it was printed quarterly. You simply ordered a, an address of a lady that you wished to write, and that was the extent of the involvement with the Skana. Uh, with the financial difficulties at the time, you would send postage. <laughs> Plus an envelope and hope that it was enough to get a response You can also see that they limited the number of times a lady's address could be requested because that would have to Translate your letter with a they would have to translate your letter with a dictionary If you could not speak, if English. You could not speak English a very time-consuming process uh, As I was attending Lakehead University here in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada at the time I arranged an email account with Paul Veronica through uh, Diana Zakri, Zakirova, who was a trainer at the Firestone State uh, Technical University in Vladivostok. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Veronica had no phone, so having an email account was a privilege that very few Russians or Canadians had or knew anything of such thing. Messaging was done through the university mainframe computers, and each time you sent a message, uh, a receipt like this would be generated because there was no browser such as Mozilla, Netscape, or Internet Explorer. Everything at that time was text without images as there was no graphical user inter interface uh, that people take for granted today. Hmm. Even though Thunder Bay is a port city on Lake Superior, I was blown away by the number of ships in the harbour in Vladivostok. Vladiv what is it? Vlad Vladivostok. Vladivostok. Uh, I was consciously aware that Vladivostok was home to the Russian Pacific Fleet and the film I took as we sailed uh, on our way to Popov Island one day could have easily landed me in jail. I discovered after that trip that up until 1992 no foreigners were allowed to enter Vladivostok, uh, let alone take pictures of military equipment. Uh, that is Veronica and me along with this. Okay, so he did include some photos, uh, but I'm not going to show those photos for obvious reasons. Um, if I remember correctly, Skana was purchased by European Connections, uh, Preston Stiekel, which later turned into Anastasia International, which must be Anastasia Date, which you actually work for. So this guy, is like, he's like your mentor. <laughs> the other girl in the photo is Marguerite, and I can't remember the blonde girl. She was uh, 18. Name, who were our tour guide in Moscow and St. Pete. Mike was head of over heels for Margarita because it's okay he discussing I think the photo that he sent you right yeah um, there were our personal dates um, <laughs> they were coming for a beer I don't have a picture of Arena who was the other Anastasia employee 
it would be interesting to see <laughs> maybe she was still when i was there but uh she was married so she never really joined us mike finally gave us his uh, quest to win margarita over when he met a young sweet vendors so okay so this here was interesting because i googled scana and all i found was the truck company is a truck company or something to do with trucks called scana all right so anyway so i thought that that was uh quite interesting but let's have a look so if you saw this right now if you saw this you would think this is a catalog for uh, some sort of truck parts right <laughs> So well, because of this. well, it's just it, it, it's just trucks. It's just trucks. It just is. How do I scroll down? Okay. Booklet. Russian woman booklet C32. One thing that Luba just pointed out here, and I didn't realize this, is that this was copied in color. Yeah, so it's blue. It's blue. Yeah. Then, so, yeah, what it says? As a member of Scana International, you have the extraordinary and potential life-changing opportunity to be introduced to women from around the world, chosen by you. I have a goosebump, I can't... Why, because... I that, don't know, that, it's like, it's interesting, but I yeah. never, like, you know, it's like beginning, it's like the history we did. Oh, yeah, I think it's great. So, with the help of our booklets, uh, each one of our booklets contains 200 members, varying ages, appearances, occupation, interests. Ah, okay, because we've only got one page, and we were wondering if that was the only one page. So this would normally have 200 pages in it. The no, number 200 members. Ah, uh, 200 members, sorry. Okay. The number and name below each photo, uh, photographs corresponds to an information description in the opposite. What's ah. the bit that some of them like poetry? Poetry? Like opposite poetry. page, okay. After choosing, uh, after choosing the women that, uh, that interest you, record the necessary information on the enclosed address of request from... Uh, you may call, fax, or mail, mail to your. I would fax them. I would fax them. Your address request will be mailed or faxed uh, the same day we receive them. Please do not enclose a request form for address prices. We would like to emphasize that women in our booklet have all recently joined, and are not. I don't know. This inundated. Word. Okay. Inundated with letters. We track and limit. The yeah. number of times an address is given out. In our view, correspondence becomes much more personal and rewarding between a woman and a man when a woman doesn't have hundreds and hundreds of letters confusing it. Oh my God! <laughs> they certainly they certainly switched on that policy. So they saying that <laughs> so they saying that the every lady can get only a certain amount of letters, right? Yeah, because otherwise she'd just be like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I can't handle. Uh, with the correspondence more limited and personalized, uh, the chances of success are greatly increased and has proven uh, to result in many uh, friendships and marriages between SCANA members over the years. So how many years before that, before 1995? With, with I don't know. Well, I want to Google the SCANA in a minute. Okay. And We're see what, all, see uh, we are able to provide this opportunity because we provide a new booklet almost every three weeks. Not just a few each year. Scan International is a reputable and They were innovative, agency. weren't they? They were certainly innovative. It's assumed that all members, both male and female, have only um, sincere and serious intentions at the time to join of joining. But I have a question. So the ladies also was getting the uh, photos of the guys, or the guys were including well, he, it. Well, here's the thing. I'll show you this in a second. Okay, one second. Let's down. finish. Scanner takes pride in um, being one of. It's so small uh, in the world's most effective and efficient introduction agencies with a staff that is uh, committed to quality, integrity, and member uh, satisfaction. We enjoy a positive, above-board reputation, many years. We hope that your personal correspondence and oh, experience see, you've been in business Scana, since 1980. Oh, 1980, I understand. Uh, will prove worthwhile. Well, how would that even work in the 1980s? Because there's a Soviet, the fall of the Soviet Union was I in 1991. So we were, we were like, how how would that even work? You know, I don't know because is that I, just one of those things where it's like just a marketing thing? It's like we've got fifty thousand clients, we've got know, we've because, got one thousand marriages. Was like, well, like he even saying it was difficult to get to Vladivostok, but Vladivostok is not I mean, I guess you could <clears> get there if you were, if you had the right documents. Doc, uh, if you have any questions or uh, comments concerning our service, please let us hear from you. I certainly will. <laughs> and that's from Michael P. Hansen, who is the vice president. Well, okay. Note to order. Addresses, can you read it? It's so small. Or to order uh, addresses or additional booklets by phone, please phone that number. Write that down. We'll <laughs> call it. Let's call it and see who it is. From 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, we missed it. Or, yeah. Or use our answering machine after these hours. And fax, fax us. us 24 hours. We'll have to get a fax machine. <laughs> Time machine. It's easier to get these yeah. days than a fax machine. 24 hours a if day. You... To order by phone or fax, ah. you must use a credit card. Oh, they had credit cards. So, if you wish to have your photo and description placed 
in one mm. of our booklets of gentlemen, so women write to you first. Please request a questionnaire uh, to the instructor. You know what this is? Like Bumble, you know the dating yeah. app Bumble? Bumble, the chicks write to the guys first. And it was like, wow, that's new. <laughs> These dudes in the Soviet Union have been doing it for the well, last like their 30, 40 years. Yeah, oh, see look, here? It's got like... Uh, never married, divorced, widowed... Uh, Hispanic, Hispanic, white male, oriental male, Arab male, black male. Where's the Kiwi? A language is called Bulgarian, German, Polish, Russian, English, Italian, Portuguese, Romanian, French, Latvian, Spanish, Ukrainian. Wow. Uh, English uh, proficiency, scale 1 to 5. And here is um, con conversion charts. Okay, kilos... Feet? Interesting. Okay. That's standard. That's like. Do I, do I want to see? Just relax. No. Strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry. Okay. So here, here is the descriptions of the ladies, and then there's like photos here. Ah, what did you wait? Oh, what did go up. I want to see. Read, for example. Oh, okay. So okay. Natalia, 22 years old, young, so young to settle down, <laughs> but it is a Soviet Union. She's probably well past her prime. Uh, fair hair, green eyes, economist, Russian from. Taganrog. Uh, Taganrog, the Rostovskaya area. Uh, what, NM, what does that Wait, mean? Wait, just... Um, NM. Never married. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but don't give all the information. If she was 22 in 1995, it means that she's now old. Um, she's still probably she's probably an hour on our website <laughs> <laughs> so wait i can't hear. okay so it's like how old uh, is she it's uh, 20 let's say 25 27 years more so she's 40 49 19 years old here natalia five for four kazakhstan. chestnut here <laughs> and green eyes she's a secretary Chilabin, Chilabinsk, kazakhstan, Vladivostok, Kyrgyzia. Well, let's, but, look, but, let's but, look at these jobs i want to look at the occupations of these ladies so yeah, Is, students. Uh, psychology, psychology student. Is it the same? Is there some other jobs in here that we don't normally? That they, hey, this one here is from Kazakhstan. Interpreter. Uh, interpreter. Uh, doctor. Oh, doctor. She's twenty nine. Veronica. Oh, Veronica. I wonder if she's still available. <laughs> we could hook her up with someone. Um, Kyrgyzstan. Blonde hair, uh, brown eyes. Tailor. Engineer, but does it look? Does it say they have kids or they yes, don't? Yes, uh, son. <clears throat> Here, divorced, divorced. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, one. Okay, let's have a look. I want to see. Let's have a look. It's, one, it's great. Two, three. <laughs> so we think that these were actually in black and white because the the, the binder yeah, itself yeah. is in is in blue. So whoever copied these originally, um, maybe the gentleman we've been talking to lately, it was black and white. So they only produced black and white catalogs. Like, no Photoshop. But look, the unique all, Photoshop. I don't know, but <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God, how did it work? But look at this lady. She's uh, 37, 32, 20, 20, 19. She can, looks like 40. Can you, imagine, can you imagine it back then going, yep, yeah, I find one of these women attractive. I'm not saying they're not attractive, but I'm just saying like compared to what there is today. But you know, today I, there is like... A, a, a gallery there's instagram there's all this is all they had this was it and it's good yeah, i think it's great because like no fake lips no brushy boobies look at her look at this one here uh veronica 29 it's years like old. the one that i told you that she's wholesome her. she is wholesome my goodness <laughs> but look like, at this one she's 18 and she looked like like one she's 18 yeah <laughs> that's not true that's not true see even back then they were lying about the ages I don't know, but this, like, she looked like... She's she not 18. 35, 40, I think. Yeah, they made a mistake. But to be honest, I don't understand. Here is, like, page 2. Oh, okay. And this one is 30. She looks like... Much... But, you know, I noticed that. Like, when I was looking, like, I think that my mom when you were, younger... When you were back in 1995. <laughs> yes. But when I look at the photos of my mom, like, I think that she looked more, of course, for me, like, more modern and younger now than back then. Yes. As I think it's the style. This woman's hair is in incredible. It's like one, it's at least, it's like the three foot square, cubic square meter of hair that she's wearing but, on her head. But look at this, like jeans, like she's fancy, like, you know, guys usually get upset, like why the lady wear jeans, like and I Tell them about the jeans. Yeah. 
So listen back, to this. Yeah, but back in USSR, it was impossible to get jeans. Like it was literally impossible. It was like prohibited. It was contraband. Like only smugglers or uh, the guys who were working as a sailor. Only smugglers wore jeans. That's how you knew they were smugglers. <laughs> no, but the guys who were <laughs> sailors, they can bring it. And so to have jeans, it was something like to have a Gucci bag now. I don't know, like literally the same or Chanel. Uh, and uh, so if the person had jeans, like she would wear or he would wear them everywhere literally everywhere if at the same time in us there was levi's and guys was wearing them to the factory to never wear them up right like to have a like the jeans well yeah le- for the workers well jeans like denim was was worn by miners and levi's yeah, was clothes yes. for miners but for but for ussr it was something like super fashionable it was, uh, from it, was the clo- West. it was clothes for male order brides <laughs> yeah <laughs> this like i'm sorry but this like she's cute uh, i think she's 20 but it feels like it's from the when the person died. Well, yeah, anyway. So what I wanted to do is... But wait I, a second, one second. 32. So but I, she's fancy because she has three photos. Like she probably like elite. Mm. Or she was worried by one. Nobody. I wish we had the rest of the photos yeah. for the thing. Maybe we can try and get them um, and see. But it's so interesting. But I thought what was interesting that is if you went to... Um, what was it called? Skana. Skana International Dating. And I quickly did this. And I was like, all I could come up with was the truck stuff, stuff, right? So, Scan International Tripod, established in 19. Yeah, and so I saw this, and I clicked on it, and I went, no, 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 I need to stop. I need to do this while I'm on the video. And it was like, holy shit, the the website is literally still here, and it, and like oh, the, clearly it hasn't been updated, <laughs> clearly. Clearly, they need to do like a software update to try and <laughs> remove any bug. And why has it not been hacked? Ten thousand women. Yeah, Ted. So by now we offer more than ten. So this is this is pre Anastasia Date. If you guys don't know who Anastasia Date, it is like the largest letter writing uh, website to meet women in uh, Eastern European countries. And most of it is. Uh, oh, hang on, Luba's just. She's just having a memory from 1995 <laughs> when she used to log into this website to, to start my, writing for people. My first, uh, uh, by, by the way, my first dating uh, app that I've been using, it was bizarre. Did you have it? No. No? It was cool. We was going to internet Was it cafe. on a phone? No, we Or did we you did. have to fax them? <laughs> <laughs> no, we were going to internet cafe and it was like chatting. And then my first date, I think I will take You would go to the internet cafe to, to, chat, yeah. because to, I to always, do... I have always friends who are older than me and they was like bad influence, but we didn't do anything bad, but she was... She was 14, I was 11. Was she some Vladivostok? No, no, she was from St. Pete and she was spending time in Odessa like in summer. So we was going to Internet Cafe to write these messages to the guys and using this like, you know, we don't know how to, how to type. <laughs> but, but, you know, and we also was like, we were spending time, by the way, in an Internet Cafe to do the solo on Claviatura, solo on a keyboard. It was the program to learn, like teach you how to, how to type. I was doing it like. Or they could have just got a job with. with but listen, uh, I even remember my first date. My mom went with me. He didn't show up. Maybe he saw you sitting there with your mum in 1995. No, mum like, hid behind the tree. And even back then, he's like, "This no, is too weird." No, no she hid behind the tree. But anyway, she was very happy that he didn't come. But um, uh, what I want to say is that somebody is still paying for this website. Well, it's not actually the original website because Skana, I guess, dot com would be the website. This is Skana dot tripod. So the actual domain name is tripod dot com. Okay, well, so this is like a subdomain of it. So someone has taken the old website and put it into a folder on that domain. Let's have a look. Uh, let's do some in the investigation work and see what's going on here. So, uh, yeah, have a look. So, see what go to tripod.com. I'd say it's a hosting website or something like that. We're yeah, publishing. Yeah, okay. So, so they've just made so maybe it was hosted with them at the start. Let's go. So, this originally used to be Anastasia Date, and then it was. It was the first in, company to offer popularity. Yeah, right? okay. So, let's because I'm um, interested. You do it because I can't. Your, okay. Or your controllers. So just Google Scanner and Anastasia Date. Scanner. There's so many, like, Scanner was the first. There's like x ray detection. So go type in Scanner and then type in Anastasia Date. This doesn't what? work. I don't know. Why oh, do you think they know? <laughs> Scanner knows. I'm telling you, it doesn't Scanner's work. Scanner's like, someone's Googling us. <laughs> We've got an alert that someone's Googling us. Listen, it doesn't work. What are you doing? My thing doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Why is that? It's kind of international. Why is your caps lock stuck on? 
They've hacked us. <laughs> That's joking. Why does your space bar not work? I don't know. Oh it's God. just a MacBook. I don't know. They're onto us. Why doesn't your capsule come off? It doesn't. Nothing is working. Okay. We wouldn't have this problem if we had a fax machine. <laughs> okay, let's... Anastasia date. Well, let's Google that dude, okay? There, go back down, keep going down. Okay. Scan International here. Shopping order brides here. New York Times. Oh, wow. New York Times is... New York Times already did this. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. I want to Google that guy's name, and I want to see what he's up to. Okay, what does say? Men with fantasies and women with hopes have always managed to connect. Uh, when was this written? Because I can tell you, in this day and age, that's Nineteen not century. true. 2000. That's what, that's what they believed in, 2000. Men with fantasies and women with hopes always manage to connect. Well, fast forward 23 years later almost. So I'm curious if anybody who watching us uh, also been doing that in 1995. I guarantee it. In fact, we've, we've, even... we've actually had calls with guys who like were doing it like 20 years ago and then they stopped or maybe they had a relationship and then they were doing it again. And man, it must be a, a hell of a shock, especially if you had to fax in your preferences. According to a report by Immigration and Naturalization Service, the number of marriages between American men and foreign women they met through online matchmakers has doubted in the doubted Double. doubled sorry <laughs> in the last decade <laughs> totally, totally four, four to six thousand a year. An international matchmaking service. Um, the international matchmaking service are largely because of the increasing internet access worldwide, low overhead, startup costs, and abundance of eligible foreign women, 100,000 to 150,000, advertise them on e-matchmaking mm -hmm. sites. Oh, no. yeah. uh, in, in the, the mid-70s, mid most male order brides came from Philippines. Whose economy was in shambles. Do they have to use that word shambles? I never Can they just say the economy was struggling? Shambles? What is this? It's like... It's one of the, like it's, it means it's just absolutely, it's, it's god awful terrible, shambles, it's broken, it's smashed, there's no hope for it, shambles. They could just say the economy is having some troubles. <laughs> Today, more than half of two, of the 200 mail order bride businesses online cater to men seeking mates from Russia and Ukraine. 200 mail order bride businesses? So by that time it was Fuck. what? Well that's, that's not much, 200. Like you think what it was like two years ago, thousands. <laughs> More than half of... That's just a made-up number. This is the New York Times. Uh, that's what happens. Um, okay, wait, 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 you're going too fast. Uh, today, more than half of the... Catered to men seeking mates from Russia and Ukraine. Countries in steep economic decline. And in which, not coincidentally, women make up more than 80% of those unemployed. Was that, was that true? Think back. Think back. <laughs> um, I don't... Like, okay... Uh, which is why most such sites are heavy on posting like this one from Natalia, 29 years old, divorced, non swapper from Russia. Who <laughs> from Vladivostok. <reports> <laughs> spelling and grammar impact. I am tender, caressing, dentist with unusual, unusual sense of humor. Oh, hang on, you got to read that in a yeah. Russian accent. Okay, yeah, prepare yourself for a little bit. Okay, okay, in a Russian accent. I have a daughter with the appearance of character of Angel. I'm looking for a man, not greedy, tender, not tedious. What is tedious? Uh, Fat? Tedious. Like teddy bear? Annoyed. Dali has been viewed 655 times since November on Cherry Blossom. I was working on a website. You know, it's a coffee place, Mary Berry, but it's like cherry, cherry berry, cherry... Cherry something. Cherry definitely something. Well, let's see if that website is still available. Operated by Cherry Blossom in, in Hawaii. Cherry Blossoms. I mean, it sounds legit. <laughs> I just hope they've got it. Okay, a... okay, okay. ah. Come on. Ah, no. Em es, no, no, es no, no. It's just a holding page. It's nothing. So Cherry Blossoms didn't make it through the through the 08 crash. The site operated by Cherry Blossoms Inc. in Hawaii, of all places, which has been in the mail order bride business for 26 years. Cherry Blossoms used to rely solely on fax machines. 
regular mail for delivery <laughs> of its expensive printed catalogs. Mike Krasos Krosky. Remember this name. I want to Google these guys because I. The president of Cherry Blossom, the company over fifty percent of its business, and internet comparative team. No, I want to Google the one from the other one. Okay. Um, the owner, the company owns fifty percent of its business to the internet. Oh, oh, owes fifty percent to the internet. Okay. okay. No, no. Where are you going? You're going too fast. Wait, 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 wait. You're going too fast. Do we too now fast. read about Cherry Blossom? We just need to find clues as to where the industry first blossomed. Mm -hmm. Choosing a mate from another culture is not unusual. The United States is home to millions of crossing culture marriages. What is due to the numbers involved in the increasing sophistication of international image makers in the delivery of services? Many companies duplicate features found on other e-commerce sites, sites like electronic shopping carts. Like the girls were putting in the carts? <laughs> yes. Uh, whatever lies at the heart of the transaction to competitive advantages um, and the profits for sites owners arise from their ability to provide clients with more than just a woman's address. Yeah, we, we don't. We want more than just the address. Hmm. Here so there's got 16,000 women on this one website. Which uh, Actually, what we're going to do, we're going to do something in a minute and maybe we can find... Actually, let's do it now. Let's do it now. Um, sorry, this is not my computer, and for some reason, her space bar, when you push it, it says Y6. Why is that? I don't know. Maybe you will look the. When I push space bar, they know we're on there, they're, they're on to us. Let's see if we can find the old school. Maybe we can find it here. Maybe we can find it here. We may edit this video to make it faster. Let's have a look at Cherry Blossoms, if we've got any records of it. Oh my goodness. Luba, we should use my computer. Ah, oh, Luba. Look at this. Cherryblossoms.com goes all the way back. All the way back to... These guys are the pioneers. You have, you need to find the owner of this company and you need to say thank you, Cherry Blossoms. <laughs> okay, what do you want to look at? 1999? Or let's have a look. What is that? It's a snapshot of the website from 1999. Welcome to Cherry Blossoms. This, I'm going to throw this, I'm going to throw this fax machine out the window in a minute. I swear to God. Why is it... Uh, uh, Oh my I'm God! Telling, can you open it in two thousand uh, something when I was working in two thousand like? Uh, why 2000... can't I scroll when I use this thing here? Why? Why? Because you have fat fingers, um, or wet fingers, or mm -hmm. dry fingers. Uh, if I go like, okay. I'm a man. I'm a woman. Okay. Let's call this number. Let's try here. <laughs> let's let's see who, what they offer. I'm a man, or I'm a woman. No, no I'm, I'm a, a man. man. Yeah, I'm a man. You know, it may not do... Error Yeah, because it's only a snapshot of the page. Okay, okay. I want to see in okay, 2000... Um, I want 2000... Okay, when I was already... When you were CEO of this incredible company. Okay, March. No, I want to see like February because it should have like some Valentine's Day. Because you're on the homepage. Actually, we'll look at Scanner after this and go... Have a look at the. Uh, okay, so now we'll go back. Have a look at. See, there's something wrong with this fax machine. <laughs> 2018 is too too close. I don't think they've been working. Why not? <laughs> but no, I'm serious. Why not? Why would they not be working? When Four they... years ago. Well, why would they not be working? How can they go out of business? People are writing letters a lot. So how could they get, literally go out of business? Okay, two thousand four. But that was ah, not in two thousand four. That was the year of the what of the Man of the Rides. That's when people started to really actually. It was around about two thousand seven when it really started to take off. Yes, like off back, right? <gasps> Whoa! 
Yeah, and it's also when they introduced the uh, drop shadow to the brush script font for the internet, and it was very popular. Gentlemen. Comic Sans. Women. Which, we, one, which oh, one are we? Okay, women. I don't think it will load. It'll just take a snapshot. But I'm very curious about this other website. Okay, have a look here. I will check. Well, let's have a look at that Scana one. Because this is the OG. These guys were the pioneers. Uh, where is it? Scana. Uh, I don't know what the... See, look, you can see here. So I don't know if you can see it. It says Scana.com. So Scana.com was, was the domain. So we can go back to the Internet Archive and we can check out www. Is it two ends or one end? Mary Cherry. Oh, Mary Cherry. One second. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, that was the Scania.com. This fax machine is too much. Let's see. Because we can see what the OG, if this comes up, what's that? Is, that? is that online? Yes, it Mary, is. Mary. Oh, my God. But it's God. okay, we're not going to promote them. But this is the one that, oh, interesting. So the last time this was actually online, looks like it was in 2012. And this is what it looked like. This was the O... I can't say it's the OG, because 2012 is not that long ago. So let's go back to... 10 years ago. Yeah, but that's not that long ago. And it actually looks pretty good. I mean, I know this looks, actually looks better than some other websites that we know of. Uh, so let's go back to... Let's go back to the OG. 1996. So 1996 was when it when when it moved from catalogs onto the internet, okay? Because that's when like many many of these companies did it. So 1996, 1997 was the turn was the turn of the tides from these old school catalogs where you had to write a letter and then sit there, you know, at the front of your Wait. house like waiting for the mailman to come so you could put the thing in the mailbox and oh that's for me and you open it up and oh she says no. Oh. Would they say no? Probably not. But when the internet came. This is when it destroyed any real hype. Prior but, to that, it was legit. Yes, imagine how like sensitive it was. Like how really he was waiting for this message. Waiting she for was... his fix to come through. But you know, like you li you're laughing, but like my... <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm laughing with uh, empathy. But uh, but a lot of like my family members moved like in uh, after the USSR broke. Like of all of my uh, my mom has brother, um, like all the cousins and uh, like before families were bigger than now I think. But anyway, so they all moved. Somebody moved to America. Somebody moved to Germany, Canada, Israel, everywhere. Like I have literally relatives everywhere, and to communicate there was no other way. Like we like they've been grew up together. It was my mom's cousins uh, most of it, and so they've been very close when they were kids. But when they grew up and they moved to Germany for example there was no way to communicate and so i don't even yeah. and so they, we really i remember how my mom was writing letters and we was waiting until like in month or two months we were getting the response i do remember that and like you have to write this letter and say like hello you know and you have to put there a lot in not like message now hello how are you it should be long because it should fulfill the information for the, the past two months and then next few months what you're gonna but, do but here's the thing too is because when with our clients Sometimes there's misunderstanding through communication through Google Translate or something. And then the next, after that, is like, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you mean. Can you remember, if, can, can you remember, <laughs> could you imagine if that was a letter and it's like, oh, I think she's made a mistake. Could you, could you please rephrase that? Stamp, close envelope, send back to Russia. But you know Russia. what we were doing? Like, we still didn't have phones and internet, but... I remember that somehow we hire, like I remember that very good, it was really funny. Uh, they hire, uh, we hire like a videographer who did a little video about us walking in a, in a seaport uh, in Odessa and there's a big baby, you know, this like who been in Odessa, they seen like there's a huge, huge baby monument, like it's a baby of Odessa or something. And so we did this video with the videographer to send this cassette, like this big one for the you know, like to our relatives all over the world. And my dad made a joke like, oh, it's a, like it's, a, it's our baby or something. And so for the, from the time that we filmed this and send it to our relatives and we got responded, no, there was like four months later, but they all for some reason got the joke that my mom is pregnant with a second child. That was not true. And so imagine how many confusion was there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it must be shocking. Um, so okay, so this is what the uh, this is what it looked like. This was the OG letter writing website to meet Russian and, and and I'll say it again. This was legit. Well, as far as we know, as far as we could understand, it was legit. And the reason that well, when it came to the catalogs, uh, yeah, they could say, oh, okay, she's writing to you again. You got to write her. 
but it's not that much money into it. But when it came to moving it online and they can write to women using like through email, that all they would have to do is like come up with a, some sort of system, some sort of system. I'll just say something a minute. Uh, some sort of system that allows them, that makes the man pay for it. I mean, he's paying for a stamp anyway. He's got to pay for an envelope. Right, but imagine how much it costs to send this brochure. Like back then, exactly. it, was, it was so expensive. Exactly, and this is how they started making money. And it was also... How? Like the company well, was... Well, the email's free. free. Well, they have to pay for like, some data or some service charges or whatever. Of course, but the, the, the book, like imagine how many guys was doing that and the ladies and you have to send this brochure. Well, I don't know, maybe the guys had to pay for the book. I don't know, we need to ask. Well, the book can't be free. You can't. Who would be? give out a book like that for free? <laughs> so many, so many things can be done. Yeah. Um, but, but then what happened is that they realized that they could charge per email because instead of pay, paying for the stamp or whatever, per email. And then they, and then it became, okay, well, he's sending, maybe we need to make him talk to like, here they're like saying, we limit the amount of ladies that you talk to because we don't want them to get confused. When this came out as, they Nobody bombarded cares. you with thousands of... Because they want you to be confused. It's very interesting. But I think that uh, the couples was created like differently than now, obviously. The choice was less. There was less choices for the guys and for the ladies. And also, I think that when the guy was finally getting at least one message back, like, not message, like, yes. he was happy with anything. There was value through there scarcity value, on this. Yes, there was yes. value through and scarcity. And not, not in a bad way, but it was like, if the lady is writing something that you enjoy reading, and like, it's not much, it, like, you can't see her, you can't ask her for photos standing by Viber. So it's, um, yeah, it's really like yeah, one photo and, and correspondence and, and building a relationship like this. And also, like, because you had to send her, the because I also said before, you had to send her the letter and the stamp so that she could send it back to you. Ah, you have to send her. That's, so what, that's not, what it so, said. So yeah, you had to send a self. Yeah, well, yeah, of course, because they don't have any money to pay. So this is how they care about the ladies, like how they show that they're providers. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, so they would have had to speak, send that. And they're only going to do it. They're really going to select and go, okay, this one here is good. Okay, I'll send that to her and then she'll send me back. Then, because once you've got one on the line, you're not going to be like, oh, maybe I'll look for another few because it's just no, a click of a button. Here you've got to like wait like a month. Not many stamps. Like yeah. you don't want to sound seems needy for all these stamps. But also, like what I think is that what about age gap back then? Oh, you see, you know, it'd be interesting to talk to uh, our friend who sent this and say, yes. like, you know, what did they ever talk to you about the age gap? Did they care about it, or was the age gap more acceptable back then? Because this is USSR. But was the age gap okay? Was it expected? No, was it needed? I, I think that there was definitely ten years age gap. I, it, it's my guess. Well, that's Minimum. the same as what there is now. There's not that much yeah. difference. But I'm that. saying that, uh, like, I think that... Uh, Keep talking. I'm going to just... Yeah. Uh, no, no. I'm just thinking that the ladies uh, were more open. Like, it was a very... Like, it was small percentage. If now, like, everybody registered. Back then, it was just somebody who wanted to change something and who wanted to... Um, you know, in USSR, people were living pretty standard and they only knew how to live in that circumstance. They don't yeah. really know, like, anything else. You know, I actually read an article about where male brides came from, and it was like from Korea, like in the 1800s, where I can't really remember the the the, the ins and outs of it, but it was like Korea it wasn't it wasn't um, Eastern Europe. Hang on, go back to that one. There. I just want to just finish off that because then I want to have a look mm -hmm. for something and see what happened to the guy that the Godfather of letter writing is what I'm going to call him. <clears throat> Wait, one Began second. charging look, clients yeah. when he oh. Prices. Hang on a second here. They've started charging. They went from helping men to charging like, men. Uh, cherry, but it's cher cherry blossom, not scanner. But I think it's all the same. A very strange name, scanner. Like it's like. Well, it's a truck company. You know, he's probably a truck driver now. Uh, like other established sites, begins charging clients when uh, he requests an address starting at seventy-five dollars. Uh -huh. Mister Croxy. Uh, company offers a membership free that provides a client with 15 addresses at the high end in the premier guaranteed membership guaranteed yeah uh, which at 595 imagine how much it is 100 addresses 100 addresses for five addresses years. like ad oh, her, like he should ma email her not email, email her. address or not physical, physical address, address. but what is he going to do strange. like get a but, car and drive to all of their houses like Gary Vee, he's driving to the garage sale and the, the guy was driving to the lady. I mean, but to be honest, five ninety five is a bargain for 100 addresses of women two who can stalk. Two individualized search on, of the database which uh, Mr. Croxy conducts on their client's behalf. One-to-one -one coaching with Mr. Croxy, Cro Krosky. 
Krosky. I want to have a chat with Krosky. Him, himself, Krosky. Krosky, it's like, it's not even American. It sounds like a, yeah. He himself married three times. Hmm. Most recently, to a woman from Philippines. He met through his own business. How about that? Keep going, sorry. He just opened it for that. Uh, Incredible. An online photograph and a biography which Mr. Krosky says guaranteed a client 60 plus letters from women. Ah, oh, okay. Other innovation and good email forward. Oh, uh, email forwarding. A client can request that his photograph or a love letter be hand delivered in three to five days rather than in two or three weeks by international mail. Three weeks to wait for. I like it. Letter. He had a say. Other innovations include <laughs> email forwarding. One of Mr. Kroska's uh, competitors, Scan International, add the link to Flower and Gip International. Uh, there are delivery of go. roses, uh, a box of chocolate and card cost the customer at least $155. That's it. it. That's where it started. This is it. And can also include uh, an additional cost, a snapshot, snapshot of the women receiving the gift. Another <laughs> rival, uh, Euro ladies, Offer a three-way uh, conference calling with an interpreter. What they was calling from? Like the fax machine has a phone also. I think <laughs> the, offer the fiance visa visa uh, preparation kit. At the top of the price scale, they organize tours to Russia and Ukraine. Offer by da -da -da. Uh, companies, uh, your ladies, guarantees that men will meet over 800 women in 10 days. Let's wait one second. Anyway, 800 so. women in in 10 days, like what Hang is this? It's numbers so like 800 women divided by 10. 3,000 divided. That's 80 divided by 24. Well, that's only three and a third women per hour, solid, but no sleep for, for a week. <laughs> I don't. Okay, so uh, three to five thousand, including hotel and airfares, kind of offers a referral to Anastasia Tour, which offered tours. You did this, didn't you? You are honest. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Just the uh, same price, your latest. Ah, so they combine because they don't have enough. Well, so they, they yeah, they're sharing, the, they're sharing the database. Ah, ah interesting. Okay, and so include introductions to 600 to 1,000 women and a 10% discount when you bring a friend. I'm not bringing no friends. Even if true love does not last. Like the owner of this company who's <laughs> been married three times and he's with a Filipino woman. <laughs> the the e-matchmaking sites are ready to help some men are repeat customers returning to the same internet site on which they had found a previous now ex-wife so they get a discount 10 guys, they just guys it's incredible i don't know how do you feel so the bet you went flat on on the camera um but we think that's enough back in time for stuff. me, it was very interesting. I don't know, maybe it was uh, all over the place as always, but for me, it was really, um, you know, it's like a history. It's like a lesson of the history. You learn about like some countries, you know, some, some development. And for me, it was because I jumped into this industry. I literally jumped uh, into that um, when I was 18. And I, I think I told this story when I, was, I just wanted to speak with somebody English. I didn't know anything about that. And I went to the English school and I passed the test and I thought that they have some speaking club. And the lady said, sorry, we don't like, and your level is already high enough that, you know, maybe you need to speak with somebody. I said, exactly. And then she said to me, um, go to the dating agency. This is how I get into Go stand by the fax machine. The fax machine, yeah. And I was like, I was, uh, I was pretty surprised that she recommended, but you know, I didn't know that this will be life changing advice that I've got from that woman. And um, when I came to the industry, it was already different. Like it was socials, it was meetings, um, it was different. It, I, I, I can tell that um, I wish like, to be honest, I wish I would be a little bit present at that time. So when it was more, you know, legit, when it just started, when people was doing this, like they cherish these letters, because when I got to the, uh, the, the socials and stuff, it was already like age gaps, you know, these young girls, the forward girls, as we call jumping on these guys, uh, the guys were like, oh, wow, like the girls so young and, and nobody was getting any results, unfortunately. So, um, you know, the thing is, is that they, they innovated for the worse. And I think that's the problem. With the world, I think. Like no, well, yeah, with the world, general. yeah. I think people take advantage of any situation that they can. There's always a, a, a section of the population that's going to take advantage and exploit people for, you know, for money, for resources, for whatever it is, no matter what it is. 
And I think that this industry is the same. Whoever started this industry probably had a good, pure heart. They really wanted um, they found men for themselves, and women. maybe, and they was looking maybe for themselves, either to either they were looking for themselves, yes, and they decided to share, to or they found, and, and they decided to yeah, share. Yeah, and then and then it and then it evolved into the letter writing machine that it is People today. People always like as I, as I always say, you know, like if we kill all the bees on a planet, the planet will die. If we if we kill some one animal, you know, they did this experiment like they took away like I don't know, lions or something and then the whole ecosystem. But I think that people don't do any any good for the for the nature or <laughs> I'm sorry for saying that, but this is well, my thoughts. Anyway, I don't know what that means, but what you've just what said. <laughs> but I think no, I, I you know I, what I mean, right? Yeah, of course I do. Yes. I'll tell you later, I'll send you a fax. <laughs> But but maybe if this was interesting, I mean, I would like to. I just can't do it on Luba's computer because the space bar doesn't work. I don't know what you're. She bought it in 1995 before they had space bars. But we could actually probably find um, a little bit more information about like some of those other people. So I don't know if it's interesting or not. For me, it's interesting. I like to me, dig deep. I like to find out the history of things that I'm involved in. But that's pretty much it for today. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed that. Yeah. One thing that I want to say. No, I don't. Okay. Write me a letter and tell me. I'll, you can, I'll send you a prepaid postage envelope. But can you please send me the envelope with the stamp so I don't have to spend yeah, yeah, money on it? Yeah, of course I'm stupid. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.